Philip Morris International, maker of Marlboro cigarettes, is fighting a new ruling in the UK that requires all cigarettes be sold in plain packaging. The UK Parliament enacted the rule in March and will require all cigarettes sold in the country be packed in plain boxes by 2016. PMI has sued, contending the rules would, quote, unlawfully deprive it of its trademarks. PMI says its branding, those red ribbons, for example, is too important a part of the market economy to just legislate away. PMI's general counsel wrote, we respect the government's authority to regulate in the public interest, but wiping out trademarks simply goes too far. The UK Department of Health points out smoking causes some 80,000 deaths a year in the country, making it the country's leading preventable cause of death. In other words, the government is ready to fight this one. A spokesperson told the BBC, we will not allow public health policy to be held ransom by the tobacco industry. The legal challenge is the latest front in a worldwide shift toward hard truths in tobacco marketing. The new packaging will not only eliminate brand marks, but also carry graphic warnings of the damage smoking can cause to the body. Australia is already using the new packaging and saw a 78 percent increase in calls to smoking hotlines. The World Health Organization says there aren't any other apparent factors that would cause that number to jump. U.S. regulators had plans to require similar graphic warnings until 2012, when the tobacco industry got the rules overturned in the D.C. Court of Appeals. And cigarette makers are still pushing back. In April, a group of companies filed suit against the U.S. Food and Drug Administration over rules that require them to submit any changes they make to the brand packaging for approval. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.